For some people, not only young artists, it seems pretty normal to go begging for new followers on other artists' channels and so on. That's not the way it works, people. It's annoying, pushy and disrespectful to the artist because it seems like you don't show interest in the art itself and came just for your own thing. If you are one of those people who want me to follow or just want to gain new followers for your thing, listen carefully. You are not gaining followers by begging. You are gaining followers by earning them. You think it could be good to call attention for your channel or Instagram account, etc. in the comment section of another artist, but what you actually do is to scare people off and worse, annoy them. So you are reaching the opposite side of what you really want. In today's video my intention is not to rant. Instead, I will share some honest tips with you to prevent you from begging on other artists' channels and earning your own followers in a fair way. When I first started off my Facebook page for my art about six or seven years ago, I was really not famous. Nobody knew me, I had just a pretty small circle of friends who are into manga. I was a newbie to the manga scene, but I never went to another artist's page and begged for followers or for share for share or something. And I know if you are not already famous, it's hard at the beginning, but it is possible. Everybody starts from zero. And all these tips I have collected for you came from my own experiences over all these years. The first step to start is to go and create your account. Next important thing is to have a name. You can use your real name or an artist name or a nickname. You should try to use a name that is personal for you. Maybe not that common and maybe something that has a meaning for you. For example, my name Rambutan is based on my real nickname that I have since I was born. My mother gave me the name Ngo, which is the Thai name of Rambutan. So for me, it's not a common name. It's personal and it has a meaning. You should also try to avoid names like XX something include name here XX. It looks stupid and pretty childish in my opinion. Try to be creative if you are choosing your artist name because it's like a branding. Everybody will know you by the name you choose. Also try not to change your name like every month. It's okay to change someday to your real name, but if you're changing from one common name to another common name, let's say a Japanese nickname like Yuki to Miku to Hikaru, it's just confusing. And if your name seems too common in your opinion, you can also add something like illustration, art or drawing to your name, so people will instantly know what to expect from your account. Finding good names is really not easy, but it's worth to think about it before creating an account. Next step is to have a profile pic. I think if you are doing art related stuff, then use a picture of your favorite work as your profile pic. Besides your name, it's the first thing people will see, so it's better to use your own art than using a selfie of yourself. In this case, it's not misleading. Try to choose a picture which is not too small and which shows off what you are really creating. It should be a good example of your art, the reason why people should click on your profile. One of the most important thing is to be serious about your art. Nobody wants to follow somebody who makes no improvement and posts like one time a month. You should take care of your art page like it's your duty. It doesn't matter whether if it's your own YouTube channel, Instagram or your Facebook page. Take care of it. Other than on your YouTube channel, you should try to post your art on a daily basis or at least five times a week. And no, you don't need to post only finished artworks. It's enough to post mostly sketches and step-by-step -step process shots and from time to time colored works just as you like. For your YouTube channel, it's necessary to post at least once a week on a regular basis. To gain more followers for your art, your art must attract attention in a flute of postings and other pictures. 
So make sure that the photos you're taking of your art are in a good quality and are not grainy, blurry, covered with shadows or too dark. And no, you really don't need an expensive camera for it. Your phone is good enough, plus having a good app to edit your photos or using Instagram with filters and different settings of the brightness level, etc. But don't go crazy over the filters. Sometimes it's even better to edit the works on your computer with Photoshop or something else you like to use and then send it back to your phone via OneDrive, Dropbox, for example, or you can also scan your works and edit them. And before I forget, of course, the most important tool to make nice quality shots is having a good light setup for taking photos. For example, daylight. It's free. Post quality matters a lot. Good shots of your art will help you getting seen and attract people to go to your art page and see what else you create. You can say that your page is like a portfolio and if your postings are good and nice to watch without getting interrupted by postings that are not artsy, like millions of selfies, the chance of getting new followers is high. Which instantly leads us to the next point. Avoid negative or and misleading postings. Talking about millions of selfies. If you want to post pictures of yourself, the food you're eating or pictures of your cats, vlogging, etc. It might be a good idea to create another account for this. Most of the people I know on Instagram have multiple accounts, like a private account, an art account, an account just for art tools, etc. So their activity feed looks clean and their followers don't get interrupted or confused by non-artsy stuff. I personally unsubscribe pretty fast if I see artists posting more food and, I don't know, their shoes than their own art. It's no help if they are awesome artists, if I only see their food and pets but no art. It's not for what I subscribed or followed this person. Same goes to private or negative postings. There are sometimes things everybody can relate to and it's fun to have like-minded people in the community but avoid posting too much negative stuff. It's okay to have an opinion and it's okay to show off what you like and dislike, your personality etc. But I'm sure there are better ways to show off these. Sometimes little private shots of your workspace or of yourself having a booth on a convention can ease your feed and show some personality and these are still art related. Try to keep pretty private or delicate things away from your art page and talk to your trusted friends instead or at least post not that much about it. Same goes to having a beef with other artists. Be major and talk with the person you're having a problem with and do not send your community for bashing them. People came for your art and want to enjoy things and not being confronted with your problems. Of course, it always depends and for example, negative experiences as an artist can be interesting, especially as a short comic strip like, ah, uh, there are always people who want me to draw them, but there are sometimes things that should be not open to public. Always keep in mind that you are a role model for other people. Or always keep in mind, would my grandmother like my posts? Be active and talk with your followers. Getting followers is good, but getting followers who are active on your postings with likes and comments are great. It all counts as an activity, what makes your post more relevant to appear in other people's explore feed. Write always something in the description. Your thoughts on your work, things you like to change, how happy you are, tell people the name of the character you're drawing, and so on. It's also good to ask your followers questions, depending on your postings. You should take the time to answer to questions or to chat a bit in the comment section. It is fun to be in contact with your followers and they are happy about you replying. 
You really don't need to reply with thank you to every compliment you're getting and at some point you can't answer to everybody. But keep in mind that your followers are not just numbers. These are real people who like your stuff. So don't act like you're out of their league. You can get noticed by other artists you like if you are commenting a lot to their stuff with memorable and nice written comments. Especially because there are always less people who are commenting than people who are just liking. So the chance is high to get noticed by this artist or getting noticed by other people. Sometimes if they read your comments they will also click on your account and see what you are doing. And maybe they will talk back to you and someday you will have a good conversation with them and maybe become friends, who knows? Be open to work with other artists. To increase the number of followers it can be really great to collaborate or making art trades with other artists with a similar amount of followers. A collaboration should make fun and it's also making new friends through that. Increasing the number of your followers by that should be a side effect and not the reason why you choose to make a collaboration. It's also good to choose an artist you like to follow by yourself. It would be awful if you're choosing an artist you didn't even knew before just for getting followers and after that abandon him. Be part of artistic challenges. There are famous challenges like Inktober, Mermaid, Draw Samba and so much more. You should consider to be part of that. Get creative and improve your skills through these challenges. These challenges are super interesting and you can always create something you can post and good thing is you can also use the hashtags from these challenges. So people might bump into your works if they are scrolling through the hashtags. For my 30 day drawing challenge I have also created an own hashtag to use. Those challenges are also great to get you out of an art blog or if you have no idea what to draw. If you still like to promote yourself in other artists comment sections then keep looking for artists who make special postings for this. In the German art community on Facebook, for example, it's quite common to make a post for self-promoting. It works like this. Hey, put a link to your art page here. Tell people who you are and what you do and tag two of your favorite artists here too. And please share this post on your page as well. It is a pretty smart way and definitely not selfless from this artist to help you getting seen by other people. But try to give also other people the chance of getting followed by you. You can't expect things from other people you don't do by yourself. In general it works well in my opinion. It's a fair way to promote yourself. You can also do a post like this on your page if nobody does this. Giveaways and drawing for other people. If you have already a good amount of followers let me say about 100 up to 500 people, you can give thanks for following through doing a giveaway with your original art you like to give away and add some rules like like this post, write your best joke in the comment section and if you like you can tag some friends who could have interest as well, share this post and so on. There might be people who just came to win and will disappear after that, but the chance to get noticed by a lot of people is high. But do not overdo it like doing every week or month a giveaway. Set up a goal like next giveaway if we have reached 1000 followers or something, for example. Another way of getting noticed is drawing original characters from other people. but. Keep in mind that it's important to do this because you like that character or because you like this artist or because you are friends and not to get all the attention for yourself. You can make another artist pretty happy with a drawing for them and I think it's a pretty cute thing as long as it's from your heart and not to get followers in the first place. It's like the collaboration thing. It should be a side effect to gain followers through that and not the reason why you are doing it. 
It's possible to get a shout out for your art and getting shared on their page, but only if you put some effort in this fan art. Last but not least, don't care that much about a number. The number of followers will never tell you how talented someone is. Most of the people with a huge number of followers run their accounts for several years and they are putting a lot of time, work and effort in their accounts. If you just start off your page, the beginning is really by far the hardest time, always. So don't get discouraged. Take your time and just continue. It will get easier. Focus just on your work and the quality of it and care less about gaining followers in a short time or comparing yourself with others. People will come to your page if they see that you are active and post on a regular basis. And of course, if they see that you love what you do. I hope these tips are helpful for you. I guess you can use most of these tips for different kinds of social media pages, not only Instagram or Facebook, because these tips can be used universally. I bet there are some more awesome ideas out there, but these are my advices based on my own experiences. And if you have some more ideas of advices, please share them in the comment section. And, and for all my German viewers, you can find a link to my advices for starting a Facebook page in German in the description box down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be subscribed to my channel if you want to see more videos. I would really appreciate this. Thank you so much for watching and like always, stay creative and bye bye!